Valley City Council decided to table the suspension right process for Councilman Curran Price, who faces various criminal charges. The council will meet again in August, and the members will move forward with a suspension, or will they? What will happen? Here to help answer that is Council Member Marquise Harris Dawson. Thanks so much for being here, Morning. making the time for us, and welcome to the show. Uh, so, Curran Price would be the third council member suspended pe pending criminal charges in the LA City Council in recent years. I want to get your thoughts on the case against him and, and why the delay on the motion? Well, uh, on uh, this past Friday, the committee uh, decided to hear more from the community, hear more from the district attorney, just get more information and then come back to it. Uh, the expectation is that Councilman Price will be arraigned on July 12th. We'll know more then. We'll have a better idea how to move forward. I think because the council has been through this so many times, we now don't have a knee-jerk reaction every time there's uh, something coming from a prosecuting agency. And there was a lot of support for him, a huge yes. showing of public support. Yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible, though. I do want to talk about another scandal. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. there have now been a few with the mm -hmm. L.A. City Council. Um, Kevin DeLeon, he remains on the job, sure. even though we had this uproar over the leaked tape that showed um, him making pretty racist comments. Can you take us inside the room? I remember reading at one point just how uncomfortable it was back then. How is it now working together? You know, it's over time. I think people have become accustomed to the discomfort uh, that that is there. I think it's still a good amount of it um, remains. Uh, there's a really great article in the Los Angeles Times this morning about the 14th District, so I think that's going to get resolved uh, in the next year or so. So you have been voted the council uh, president pro tem. Mm -hmm. What are, is your vision? What are your thoughts going forward in this role, especially given the circumstances? Well, you really want to, the role of the pro tem is really to assist the president in, in terms of facilitating the council. The role of the presidency in the council is to make sure every member that got sent there by the voters can do the work that the voters sent them there for. And when you have these types of distractions, what happens is a lot of energy gets sucked up. No one got elected to do something to current price. So everybody got elected to make their neighborhoods better. And, and you gotta make sure the body can function in a way that allows them each and every member to do that. And you plan to do that how? Well, <laughs> you know, one of the things we wanna do is make sure this is handled in a way that makes sense. And so we're not coming back to it and back to it and back to it. We went through this uh, about a year ago with another member of the council and it was handled so poorly that it took up months and months of the city council's time. You handle this in the right way, in a deliberate way, in a disciplined way, we can deal with it, we can move on and get about the business of running the city. Yeah, sometimes taking a breath and really looking at it can be better. As you say, this is such a distraction. There's so many yeah. issues the city does need to tackle. Um, one of them that I want to ask you about is getting an update on those migrants that were bused from Texas to Los Angeles. Can you give us um, any ideas to how that's so, playing out? So, you know, I thought I was very proud of the way L.A. handled this situation. We didn't try to, you know, put people on a bus somewhere else. Uh, we housed people for the short term and we got the services in place that they need to, to uh, be comfortable while they're figuring out what's going to happen with them. And so, you know, our immigrants' rights organization stepped up, the mayor's office stepped up, the county stepped up. And so, so far those 40 uh, or so people are comfortable and uh, going through the regular immigration process that everybody's entitled to when they show up on our shores. Are you prepared if there's another bus unexpectedly showing up? The, we have plans. I, I mean, the city's not making those plans public because, you know, we don't want to put out a, a white flag. But, you know, at some point, I think the, the government of California is right. The federal government has to say, like, hey, states, you can't do this to each other. I mean, we have people in L.A., frankly, that we could put on a bus and send to other states <laughs> completely legally, but we don't do that. And so I think everybody's got to behave uh, in, in a way that helps support the whole country and doesn't pit one state against another or two states against others. All right. Well, there's a lot to talk about, a lot of work to get done. We appreciate yes. you being here uh, you. and joining us this morning. Thank you.